everybody, my name is Constantina Bush. I'm your MC for the evening. MC means Miss Constantina. Shut the music on your You know, I smoke Aboriginal people. We're simple people, I tell you. When we start making fire by rubbing two sticks together, sticks been turned into matches, matches been given away to lighter. And now, I've been discovering a new way to make fire, and you listen. <laughs> Another song. You can't see up here. <laughs> I'm riding in your car. You can put them on your radio. You've been traveling with my skirt. to do, but and now that I'm introducing all the acts and stuff, but I'll just tell you about myself. My name is Constantine Bush, and that's where I've been come from, the bush of Northern Territory, you know. I don't believe in Brazilians, I've got bush down here too. I usually got two little girls that dance behind me, one in the audience probably, they're called the bushettes. They don't speak and they're also not allowed to come in front of me on the stage. But anyway, like... You know where I come from, we got cattle station, you know, and um, my grandfather is traditional owner for that land, so that kind of made me like a princess, you know? <laughs> now that's... <laughs> but anyway, but, uh, I'll tell you now, like we got so many um, influencing coming there, you know, like in the old days. <laughs> 
in the old, old days, can like that. <laughs> when the missionary mob, uh, missionary, I'm thinking about something else. <laughs> you know, the Christian mob and come there anyway and have you know, influencing us mob and see my parents, eh? You wanna? <laughs> Last chance? <laughs> anyway. In the old days, they had the missionary mob and come there and they had an influence world of black flag telling us like for a dream time is not right and all that, you know. And um, we would learn about Jesus Christ and Mary and Joseph mob. And somehow, you know, she had been a baby, got no go booking, I don't believe that. <laughs> but anyway, when you go to them communities, you can still look at all that, uh, what you call it, influencing, you know. And them mob, like you hear that mother sing, come on, hey, Samson, Delilah, get in here for dinner now. No, and Moses, go home to your mother. Lazarus, get up. Stop playing good. <laughs> my own two brother now, no way in Moses, but um, my sister, he was going to have one baby, you know, he'd been happy that baby actually, and he'd been there in the hospital now, and when I went to go visit him, I said to him, I said, what you going to call that little boy? And she reckon, I'll call him Lucifer. <laughs> and I said to her, what? What's that mean? And she reckon, angel of light. And I said, oh, that's beautiful, you know. But when my mother been listening to what I could call that baby, she would run up there and nearly slap her face off her head. She said, you can't call baby that. What if you grow up to be freaking antichrist or something? So she been changed that name to um, Beelzebub. <laughs> but we just call him Bob for short, you know. <laughs> anyway, um, when, you know, like, I've been thinking for intervention, you know, like them was talking about how the intervention would have up territory and, they, um, when they first put that intervention there, they must have overstepped the mark, thinking they're going to need a big more army, like we're going to give them war or something. But, uh, anyway, when they got there, they had nowhere to stay, so they've been like overflowing onto our country, and they've been asking about my grandfather, you know? You know, um, let these army men stay here in part of your country. And he went, oh, and I said, yes, go on, go on, go on, quick, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Grandpa, go on. Anyway. <laughs> I've been ended up with one of the homologous now, that um, army man named Eric, and he was telling me I had a lot of class, you know, again, sitting with my leg closed and everything. And um, he said that I should go down to Melbourne and try it out. So when this was at the comedy festival ringing me up, I said, yeah, I'll come down there for this thing. No worries, man. And that's going to give me per diem or something like that, but um, they haven't given me $50 for it one day again. And they fly me down here, you know. And good thing about flying down, I think, my favorite airline is Virgin, you know, Virgin Airline. And when we've been coming here now, I've been sitting down, and I've been looking one block, I've been come up there and get big more mud crap, you know, put it, got that dry ice, that gas one ice, and put them in this thing, and even bring it onto that plane and give it to that hostess, you know. And later, when we've been departing, no, not departing, what you call it? Boarding, no, deboarding, when you're getting off the plane anyway. And <laughs> That hair has to ship again. Grab that box now, she can come out like this, and she can looking, you know, and she, oh, she got a little bit confused, and she went back there. Just remember, this was to be Virgin Airlines, and she went like this. Um, would the man who gave me the crabs please come and see me at the front? <laughs> <laughs> and we were looking, and people were laughing a little bit, and I'm looking at her like, what kind of shit? Not a virgin, obviously. <laughs> anyway. I'm waiting for that red light, but I got three minutes must be again. <laughs> it's all about me anyway, that's what they've been saying, you see. Listen, my grandfather now, I'll tell you, you know how I've been talking about that Christian influencing and that now, and he'd been coming up, and he reckon like this now, these two tourists wanted to come and make movie picture, you know? And they had to get permission to come up. Just before intervention, you had to get permission to come out to Aboriginal land. And they've been ringing up my grandfather, they want to make movie there, you know, put it in the cinema in the big city and that, and they reckon, yeah, go on, come out then. Fax that thing, send it. Signed it with two X again. Anyway, when they was coming out, they're driving and they had to pull up on the road, you know, dirt road for donkey to cross the road. Pull up another 10 kilometer for horse to cross the road. Another 20 kilometer for a cow across the road. And it, that trip on is supposed to take three hours, but they wouldn't get there in four. And when he got there, my grandfather had been sitting down on the ground poking his teeth with grass, you know. And that bloke would walk up, old man. You might want to round up all the stray animals and donkeys, horses, cows, shoot them and send that meat down to the city, you know, for pet food, make money for the community. My grandfather would look at him there. You can shoot him at that horse and you can kill him at that cow, but you mustn't, mustn't touch him at that donkey because that donkey is sacred to Aboriginal people. What? 
<laughs> donkey said, yeah, that donkey never been carried baby Jesus to Bethlehem, he said. <laughs> I'm Tansy Taylor Bush. Thank you. Now, this next part, I don't need introduction, but I have to do it otherwise I'll get sick. This man, <laughs> he got a show here at the moment. It's called Welcome to My World, I think. Is that right, Kevin? Yeah. But ladies and gentlemen, put up your hands together for that Kevin Cropinieri. <laughs> 